Okay, welcome everybody to the second half of the workshops in which different leftist groups can present their projects. Um, on our Euro Conference 2024 by the Baptist Affiliate Society. The Baptist Affiliate Society, established in December 2006, organizes reading groups, public fora, research, and journalism focused on problems and tasks inherited from the old 1920s to 30s, new 1960s to 70s, and post political 80s and 90s, left for the possibilities of emancipatory politics today. So, for around the next our, uh, the Communist Party of Iran is going to present their project. I'll just read. Marxist, yes. MLM, Marxist, and Miss Mouse. Uh, I don't think you're going to get into that. Um, I'll just read the little prompt. Um, the Communist Party of Iran, Marxist, and Miss Mouse was founded in 2001 and is an Iranian Communist Party working for revolution to establish a new socialist republic in place of the Islamic Republic of Iran. At this workshop, activists of the CPI MLM will introduce their party. They want to discuss the party's thinking on, on what revolution is, the universal application of communist revolution in countries like Iran or Germany, as well as the concepts developed by Bob Avakian, which CPI MLM adheres to as the basis and cornerstone of proletarian internationalism. Just hand over to you. Hello, my name is Tomay Carter, the activist of... You need the microphone. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm turning it's it up. I'm it's turning it up. The activist of Trans um, Party of Iran, MLM, and the former political prisoner in Iran. Uh, we want to speak about uh, the, our world, what is the problem, and what is the solution, and what is the revolution, and why we need to revolution in this world. Cover uh, we start, and uh, next we speak more about this, uh, after, uh, this concept in Q&A. Thank you. Hello. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, I haven't seen so many revolutionaries on place together yet, so it's really cool to be here. So, uh, I am a revolutionary communist from the Communist Party of Iran, that is the most modest, uh, probably. Uh, original party, uh, party going back to the greats within the international communist movement after the restoration of capitalism in Soviet Union in the 50s. The now called on the communists around the world to forge a new communist movement and call the Soviet Union uh, as a social imperialist, which means socialist in name and capitalist in nature. So our name designates that great division, Marxist and Islamist. But we have passed uh, that name and that level of understanding communism as, science, as a science of revolution has divided into two and its correct aspect have developed into new communism by, by other people. And today, our party is the follower of new synthesis of communism by Baba Party. We call this new communism. Our party is engaged in building new movements for revolutionary Iran in order to overthrow the Islamic Republic of Iran and establish a new socialist republic in Iran. Uh, actually, uh, two days ago was 42 years uh, since we launched an insurrection to overthrow the Islamic Republic in Iran. But the struggle we had was defeated. We lost many camrats in battle. In battle, and later. Is it on? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's on. Uh, as I said, we lost a lot of our camrats in that battle, and uh, later on. Uh, in previous talk, uh, in like Platypus, uh, in Cologne, my camrat Nasani have talked about history, line, uh, uh, 
and drafting of our part in the game. So today I will not repeat that. So uh, everything is in, uh, 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 I think, recorded in graphics. You can uh, refer to them later if you want. Uh, I want to speak about revolution in Germany. Uh, why? Uh, because we make revolution in different countries, but in one world, it is capitalists which have created this thing alone. Just remember how intensely Lenin accepted the, the revolution to happen in Germany. This is a big fact that is missing from all parts by the left in Germany. Uh, why? Because making revolution in Germany is not on the mind of any left yet. You will never run into concept or conference dealing with this legal. Look, it is really ugly world we are living in, and many of us in suffering. Uh, your daily life depends on the labor of the hundreds of millions of hungry people in India, Bangladesh, Colombia, Congo. The battery of your phones, laptops, are built on the back of the million of children working in cobalt, uh, mine in Congo. Your clothes depend on labor of million women and children working in these sweet jobs. Over 150 million women working within so-called sex industry, mainly poor countries. Even your democracy depends on openly dictatorial and murderous regime in the global south. That is reality. So, revolution in Germany or any other capitalist imperialist country is important for several billion of uh, oppressed and bitterly exploited poor people in the world. Uh, people who think of themselves as leftists or communists but do not see this reality and take responsibility for it. Uh, I'm sorry, they must be full of uh, something like that. If left doesn't understand why we as people of the world need a revolution here, I'm really sorry for them. If you understand the need of a revolution, but you don't know how that revolution could be possible, uh, then you need to know it. Revolution in Germany is important for all humanity because one of the headquarters of this worldwide capitalist imperialist system is in Germany. And that have tied us hardly to each other. The capitalist imperialist countries, the big US, or the smaller Germany, and France, or China, or Russia, are headquarters of this monster capitalist imperialist system. They jointly exploited the world also fight over the shape of this expression too. This is what's happening in Ukraine part, between Russia and NATO. Since the October Revolution in Russia, we have not had any revolution or even an attempt to make a revolution in any capitalist imperialist country. And that is disaster for humanity. Regarding why it is necessary, how it is possible to make a real revolution in an imperialist country? Baba Bakian has done a lot of work on strategy of revolution, how to prepare it and finally execute it. So to me, it is extremely sad that few people know about his work and even harder about it, that I did not care about it. I'm giving a quote of Abakyan that currently saying, we can no longer afford to allow this imperialists to dominate the world and to determine the destiny of humanity. They need to be overthrown as quickly as possible. Look just what's happening in the world outside these democratic, civilized countries. I'll give you some examples. 
On 20 September 2000, two days after second intifada, Jamal Abdul Dura going out with his 12 year old Muhammad Al Dura. Remember his name. They are going out to buy something. A photo shows them crouching behind a concrete cylinder. The boy crying and the father baby. Then rust on gunfire and lost. Muhammad al Dura died. He was killed by defender of this system. 2012, 12 Dhaka garment factory. Muni Akhtar, 18 years old girl, working on fourth floor, tried to escape the fire in the factory. She ran down. She, she, she went out and then she's cast in the fire and died. In that day, 170 women burned alive in Thailand. In fact, this factory produced clothes we are hearing. On May 25, 2020, the criminal police called Derek Chowing killed George Floyd, a 40 years old black man. We know him and how he was shocked to death. This is happening all the time in the state of the USA. You must know that the US Super Supreme Court ruled over abor abortion right after 50 years. The imperialists need to make women child, uh, child buried in factory and slave, uh, and slave of men. That is the key part of capitalism social relation. And the fascists who are grown here and there have a clear goal to crush women, LGBTQ, immigrant, and establish fascist democracy. These are defenders of this capitalist system we are living in. On September 13, 2022, in Iran, Mahsa Amini, Gina, 20 years, 22 years old Kurdish girl, was killed because she was, she had, she, 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 she bad, she had wrong hearing. She was killed by the defender of this system. We witnessed six months of brutal uprising of the people of Iran. Iran. All European capitalist imperialists have for more than 40 years held Islamic Republic regime, which is a fascist democracy. During the uprising of young people that were shot by bullets and guns, those bullets and guns was made in factory across all the world, including Europe. And now, do I need to mention genocide in Gaza? Do you know how German imperialists is deeply involved in justifying and helping the genocide with a false justification of feeling guilty for Holocaust of Jews during Second World War? So, if you are feeling guilty, why do you help to repeat it on a different people? Do I need to say that we easily witness the horrendous nuclear war? The imperialist nuclear power are showing their atom bombs each other and the world. Have you asked who are the real terrorists in the world? With the first launch of the nuclear bomb, a nuclear winter we follow. And at least five billion people will be killed, and Europe will be one of them. Uh, in uh, regarding environment destruction, environment destruction can never be solved within the framework of capitalism because capitalist working is dependent on it. Uh, maybe you have heard about that three months ago, a climate. Uh, sorry about my English here. My phone just not, is not my native language. And three months, 
and who applied it reports time got 15,000 scientists. One of them, uh, Tim Clinton, is an English uh, brilliant scientist, leading scientist. He has formulated tipping points uh, in, in, in environment situation. They had terrifying report. I'm just playing uh, part of this because it's different way. Life on planet Earth is under siege. We are now in an uncharted territory. For several decades, scientists have consistently warned of a future marked by extreme climatic conditions because of escalating global temperatures caused by ongoing human activities that release harmful greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Unfortunately, time is up. We are seeing the manifestation of those predictions as an alarming and unprecedented succession of climate records are broken, causing profoundly distressing scenes of suffering to unfold. We are entering an unfamiliar domain regarding our climate crisis, a situation no one has ever witnessed firsthand in the history of humanity. We witnessed Earth's highest global daily average surface temperature ever measured, possibly the warmest temperature on Earth over the past 100,000 years to I... Yeah. Life on Earth on Earth is uh, on the sea. Uh, and time is up. That is reality. That is not happening. People around the world feel that the present horrible situation needs to be changed. And, and for that, a radical change is necessary. Many call for a revolution. But unfortunately, there is a little understanding of what is revolution. I'm playing a short description of what the revolutionary communists mean by revolution. That is a short talk by uh, uh, Abakian. What is a real revolution? It means that you actually overthrow the existing system and replace it with a different system. You need you know, billions <laughs> of people who are going to make a revolution. But the question is, what are those people fighting for? Are they aiming just to make changes within the existing system, or are they actually recognizing that you cannot bring about the positive resolution of all these different orders that exist in this country? You cannot bring about a positive resolution to that, an elimination of all that, within the confines of this system. Revolution means that you overthrow the system in order to bring into being a completely different foundation in how the economy functions, different relations among people that are not oppressive, a different culture, all the political structures also are, are transformed in order to serve the further transformation of society to uproot all the underlying basis for all this exploitation and oppression. That's a revolution. Yeah, million of people that they know what are they fighting for. An extreme importance of new synthesis of communists of Baba Vaikyan is that it provides humanity with a new framework for making revolution, communist revolution. I would like to invite you all to go to this book. Uh, what are you the books? Yeah. Yeah. I have my books there. Because uh, those books are right. summarized. Until In this book, you will find a comprehensive way why a new uh, a comprehensive way why a new synthesis of communism is necessary and how we work it. 
In this book, you will find a clear strategy for making revolution. How to bring forward these million of people for revolution? That is what we need. Uh, those millions should come from, from the most exploited and oppressed of the society, but also from other strata. Explain in clear terms how to prepare, thank you, how to prepare people, how to prepare the political train, how to prepare the vanguard for making revolution. In this three, uh, uh, three, uh, preparation, 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 uh, enriching the, what is to be done of learning play a very external uh, role. My point is about that what is the most important work about Avakian is forging a new synthesis of communists. New, co new communists represent the embodies a qualitative resolution of critical contradiction that has existed within communism, communism in its uh, uh, development up to this point, and contradiction within its fundamental scientific method and approach, an aspect of communism which have run counter to this. In this work, the most fundamental and essential in this work is the further development and uh, synthesis of communism as scientific method and approach and approach it. and more consistent um, application of this scientific method and approach to uh, reality in general. And in particular, in revolutionary struggle to overthrow and approve all system of relation of exploitation and oppression and advance to a communist world. Nothing less. As I say, after Lenin, Bob Avakian is the first revolutionary leader to work on the strategy of the making communist revolution in a capitalist imperialist country and have the departing application of this strategy. My second final point, Bob Avakian has summed up the positive and negative aspects of previous socialist countries in Soviet Union and China, deforestation of capitalists in those ex-socialist countries, and his re-envision re re a far more advanced and liberal future socialist uh, uh, society. Go to this book, Draft Constitution for New Socialist uh, Republic of uh, America. So, we have not so much time and it's really, really important to understand what's happening in the world. Thank you for my talk. And we have something to add. Thank you. Thank you. No questions. Okay, um, thanks for your presentation. I would be uh, mainly interested, what would you say, because you said that um, Bob Avakian is a new synthesis communism, what would you say is the difference of his um, ideas program to uh, Maoism, since this is um, your origin, if I understood correctly? Um, yeah, I would be interested, what is new, what is the difference, and why is it important? Um, it's a very important question. Uh, I want to uh, speak some about it, but unfortunately, I'm not speaking in English, and uh, I have to uh, get help to translate my uh, speaks mm -hmm. from my friend. Thank you. Very important to know that the scientists are not only communism so bad in Kenya. During the period of communism, we are only yet else so bad in Kenya. 
اساس و شالوده توی این علم روش و روی کردیه که برای تحلیل مسائل به کار میبره Uh, if you come in uh, when we are talking about it, we are talking about it as a science, science of revolution, and like uh, any other science, it is very important to understand that uh, it is it has to develop, and and the most important thing is its methodology and approach, how you look at the problem and how you see how it has to be uh, solved. Okay. اتفاق مهمی که در سنتز نوکی میفته اینه که علاوه بر حفظ و ادامه این جنبه های مثبت و غالبا مثبت کمونیسم یک جهش انجام میده در بدنه خود کمونیسم یعنی تضادی رو که در خود علم کمونیسم وجود داشت میبینه تشخیص میده و حل میکنه و اون تضاد is very important to understand that new communism Uh, not only is a, a continuation of communism as it had been founded, but also it has made important ruptures, especially in relation to uh, methodology and approach. As uh, we said, it has solved a critical contradiction, which... But in the پایه ها و جنبه های فرعی غیر علمی رو از کمونیسم میگیره و کمونیسم رو بر اساس پایه درست علمی خودش قرار میده. And uh, when uh, I, it was said that there were some minor and secondary aspects uh, which were uh, going against the uh, whole scientific body of communism. Uh, so there has to be a uh, rupture to put it on a more correct and scientific basis. Mm-hmm. But in in Doing this uh, rupture, it creates a whole uh, new uh, and better, uh, more correct understanding that how to look at the problems in the world and how to solve it in, in, in the future uh, revolution of society. و این این روش و این رویکردی که آواکیان به کار میبره شامل جنبه های مختلفی در علم کمونیسم میشه مسائل و مفاهیم مهمی رو از جمله مفهوم انترناسیونالیسم از جمله مفهوم ریفیکیشن یا تجسم بخشیدن به پرولتاریا در مورد چگونگی اصلا به کار بردن خود روش علمی برای تحلیل مسائل و شامل همه این چیزها میشه uh, uh, I can give uh, some uh, examples uh, of those that she said that, for example, uh, Baba Weikian developed uh, understanding of uh, internationalism uh, as a whole, that what it is and how it is based on a uh, material development, uh, uh, or, you know, there were concepts in, in communism, such as reification uh, of the proletariat. Uh, and uh, I Okay, and uh, the question of reification of the proletariat, internationalism, and uh, inevitabilism uh, of communist revolution. و جمعه مختلفی داره توی اسلام رژیم و توی انترناسیونالیست و چیزهای مختلف و یکی دیگه از کارهای مهمی که آباکیان میکنه اینه که کار میکنه و نظریه پردازی میکنه در مورد انقلاب در اون کشورهای امپریالیستی در که فراموش شده بود یا بهش توجه نمیشد بعد از این 
توی 1915 روسیه در یک کشور امپریالیستی انقلاب سوسیالیستی اتفاق افتاد. thing that he has worked and developed and it is very important is the question of how to make revolution in uh, after all of the changes which has happened since uh, 1917 revolution in in Russia uh, not only in in uh, uh, as general but specifically in the imperialist countries as uh, it was said you know unfortunately this is uh, some necessity which had been forgotten for too long. بعد از این شکست انقلاب چین در 1900 انقلاب سوسیالیستی چین در 1949 توی جنبش کمونیستی یک شکاف به وجود اومد. یک شکاف در جمعش کمونیستی به وجود اومد. اصلا خود مسئله ای انقلاب کردن زیر سوال رفت و ریلیزیونیزم متاسفانه رشد بسیار زیادی کرد. و دلیلش چی بود؟ برای اینکه بعد از شکست این انقلاب علم مارکسیزم جنبندی نشده بود در مورد اینکه مشکل این دنیا چیه و ما چطوری در سطح تئوری باید بهش در واقع and uh, in 1976, uh, there was a, uh, another defeat we had, which was restoration of capitalism in China. When revolution failed in China, it was defeated uh, again, and there was another round of rise of religionism uh, in relation to the question of revolution, how we should make revolution, and what is that revolution, and uh, again, uh, the, there was this problem that uh, what is wrong uh, with this uh, uh, theory that we have? Very, it has a very big effect on this country. I mean, the movement of revolutionism was رفقای ما برای انقلاب کردن علیه سلطنت به خاطر نداشتن درک درست و اساسی از اینکه شالوده جامعه چیه و چطوری میشه انقلاب کرد این فرصت مهم انقلابی رو از دست دادیم. One of the uh, uh, practical consequences of that crisis was that uh, we, uh, our comrades in Iran in uh, 19... Uh, 79 uh, uh, anti-monarchist uh, uh, revolution uh, were not able to seize the opportunity to make revolution because in their mind there was a lot of uh, confusion uh, about you know what is this revolution what is uh, how it should be made in in, in those conditions etc با کنترل جلو گذاشتن مفاهیم جهان شمول به ما کمک میکنه به کار با به کار بردن اونها در کشورهای خودمون بهتر و موثرتر تلاش بکنیم و شانس واقعی برای این All of these experiences uh, have been summed up by Bavikian in, or, uh, in order to bring it into a new framework of understanding that how uh, uh, revolutions should be made and to have a better understanding of them. Okay. Hello. Um, I guess I have two questions. I'm also I want to thank you guys for coming here. Um, I guess my first question is just coming from the U.S. Like I'm very familiar with the RCP and Baba Vekia. You know, I've been to the Revolution Books bookstore in New York multiple times, and that sort of thing. And so I come here to Berlin. I'm really shocked to see. I mean, not just the RCP or like the offshoot of it here, but also that. Um, you guys who are from Iran are um, 
connected with um, all the Meiji and the RCP. So I was just curious, how did that come about, or how did you guys receive you know, Bob and Bacon's ideas and come about to it. I think I missed the, you know, I wasn't in Cologne, and I think a lot of us weren't in Cologne, so I, I'm kind of curious about that historical development and how that came about. And then maybe my second question is that something stuck out with me earlier when you said there's been no uh, Marxist revolution since 1917. And so my curiosity with that is about, you know, like your Maoism, and so then how do you understand the Chinese revolution um, and then maybe also just as a add-on to that, maybe it's like a third question, sorry about that, um, is how exactly then is Mao um, relevant to revolution in the, say, like, imperialist countries? Um, <laughs> خیلی برام عجیب بود که تو برلین ببینم که اونها اینجا هستن و از اون شوکاورتر این که از ایران به اصطلاح حزبی هستش که این طرفدار بابا کنه میخواستم ببینم که من سخنرانی کل رو نشیدم میخواستم ببینم که شما حزبتون چطوری این کانکشن و این ارتباط رو برقرار کرده و آشنا شده و غیره و اینها اون تاریخ رو میخواستم بدونم و دوم اینی که شما گفتین از 1917 به بعد انقلابی نشده پس انقلاب چین چی بوده سوم اینکه که میخواستم ببینم که آیا ما او هیچ ریلیونسی یعنی پایدهی واسه انقلاب تو جهان امروز و کشور امپریالیستی داره یا نه؟ ببینید از سال دوم شروع می کنم من نگفتم بعد از سال 1917 هیچ انقلابی نشده. I didn't say that after 1917 there was no revolution, communist revolution. I said that there was none in the in capitalist imperialist countries. Yes. Yes. Uh, Chinese revolution was a uh, socialist revolution. و انقلاب بزرگی که انجام داد تاثیرات فوق العاده جهانی داشت برای بشریت. And it is uh, clear uh, that uh, that revolution and its development had a very uh, huge impact and uh, it was a uh, emancipatory uh, for the whole humanity. و بذارید این روشنگری رو بکنم. وقتی که ما میگیم ما از مارکسیس Marxist-Leninist-Boyskozashki-Manzur-Mun-In-Mist-Um-Hat-Hich-Fayde-Yi-Nagara-Masale-Yi-Nagara-Alaw-Bebar-Un-Sat-Hi-Az-Dak-
اگر ما نبود یعنی دستاورد بزرگ ما و این بود که این رو تئوریزه کرد که رویزیونیز از درون خود حزب کمونیست هم میتونه بیرون میاد اگر برمدنای کمونیستی پیش نره And uh, for example, Mao Zedong's uh, great relevance is that, you know, he uh, observed uh, uh, that uh, bourgeoisie even can uh, arise uh, within the Communist Party itself uh, uh, when it is ruling. Uh, right. and, and, and if if that party wants to stay on a, on a correct road, you know, it has to be conscious of this. پراتیک و تلاش انسان برای بهتر کردن و ساختن جامعه سوسیالیستی و رفتن به سمت کمونیسمه اگه اون درک نبود خب یعنی جدای از این که مبنایی شد برای پیش رفتن ما این اتفاق هم افتاد که درک های قبلی اشتباه ما رو به وجود آورد در مورد اینکه اصلا جامعه سوسیالیستی چیه و وقتی که انقلاب سوسیالیستی شد همه چی تموم شده نیست okay. Uh, and uh, on the basis of this uh, analysis that uh, Mao Zedong made about the problem of the party in the socialist society and the uh, character of the socialist society itself, uh, he was able to lead uh, the great proletarian cultural revolution with the aim of that, okay, we have to make communist revolution. If we are not making communist revolution under socialism, what are we doing? So all of that understanding helped us, uh, you know, all of these developments helped us to understand our previous wrong thinkings, uh, things that didn't correspond uh, anymore to, to, to the reality of the situation and advance towards uh, the goal. <laughs> و آشنایی ما با سندز نوین کمونیست و با باباکیان باید بگم که این اتفاقی نیست خب شما میدونید جنبش بین المللی ماویستی ریل اصطلاح وجود داشت توی دنیا and also uh, our connection with uh, uh, Baba Bekian uh, and his new synthesis etc it's not accidental because our party also was part of the Maoist movement historically as well as Uh, when uh, uh, the revolutionary internationalist movement was formed, uh, so our party was part of that. Yes. Uh, خوشبختانه ما این شانس رو داشتیم که جز اون اخلاب محدود اخلابی در دنیا باشیم که سمت درست کمونیزم رو بگیریم و کماکان پرشمدار امید و شانس نجات و شریعت آتون شریعت باشیم. And uh, also, you know, when there was uh, this uh, struggle over Uh, the ruptures that which are needed to be made with the old understanding, uh, we were among the few parties who were able to un recognize and understand and uh, become a follower and adherent of new uh, communism uh, and uh, be able to continue uh, uh, to be uh, as much as we can the, the hope of the humanity for a Uh, future radically different than what we are in. <laughs> Hello, I am Dieter Ilius and I am from the Revolutionary Arbeiter Party, MLPD. I want to first thank you. Leider ist mein Englisch nicht so gut, deshalb wird Nesam mir helfen und eine Kerngeschichte übersetzen. Uh, hello, my name is Dieter Ilius from the MLPD, uh, Marxist-Leninist uh, Party of Germany, 
and I will have to translate the term. <laughs> ich habe sehr interessiert äh, den Vortrag gehört, aber ich möchte zunächst mit einer kleinen Kritik beginnen. Ich bin hierher gekommen, weil mich die Entwicklung in den Iran und die Arbeit eurer Partei dort sehr interessiert. Und leider habt ihr dann stattdessen gesagt, ja, das kann man im Internet nachlesen. I found your presentation very interesting, but I have also a little critique. I came here to learn about the developments and situation in Iran and your work in Iran, but you didn't get into that and refer to the internet. Miguel Botasefone, my lust of Stambistal, as for the Iran, we don't have all of you, we don't need to know of it, but here is in Boholbut, we do still stand. Es kommt noch etwas. <lacht> Erst einmal möchte ich auch sagen, dass sich viele Dinge, die die beiden gesagt haben, über die internationale Entwicklung und die Geschichte der revolutionären Bewegung ausdrücklich richtig finde. First of all, many of the things you said about the international development and the history of the movement, I find them, I mean, I can agree with them. Wie stark sie sagt, schon mal gut, dass das der Tarif war oder Movement im Maoismo, darin ist er, wie stark ist schon der Roste, der Bull, oder? Jetzt möchte ich etwas kritisch sagen, im Sinne der demokratischen Streitkultur. Right. Now I'm going to say something more critical. Es erstaunt mich, dass du sagtest, in den imperialistischen, in keinem imperialistischen Land hätte es eine Revolution gegeben. In Deutschland wissen wir natürlich, dass es die Novemberrevolution gab, aber sie stürzte nur den Kaiser und war dann keine sozialistische erfolgreiche Revolution. Aber sie war eine Revolution. Aber es gab keine äh, kommunistische Partei zu diesem Zeitpunkt. Karl Liebknecht und Rosa Luxemburg, sie hatten nur den Spartakusbund und das waren relativ wenige. Okay, now to the more critical aspect, I'm surprised you say there was no revolution in uh, imperialist countries after 1917, because there was in fact a revolution 1918 in Germany, uh, where the Kaiser abdicated. Um, unfortunately, of course, they didn't have a party yet, so Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Liebknecht uh, failed, but it was an attempted revolution. Imige, Drust Niske and Relob to Keshwaro Imperialist Nabut, but as he saw no Sadu Hilda, Yexo Badish to Olmon, November, November Olmon, Yer Revolution Boot. Well, he saw no Sadu Hilda, Druste, but Rosa Luxemburg, Karl Liebknecht, Mota Asefone. وارد نبودن یعنی حزبی نداشتن خاطر همین رولوشن نش نش زرنگ زرنگ نبودن اما انقلاب بود دیگه wenn ich den referenten richtig verstanden habe er soll mich korrigieren wenn ich etwas falsch verstanden habe sagte er die lebenssituation in einem imperialistischen land wie deutschland liege nur an der ausbeutung der abhängigen neokolonialen Länder. Das stimmt nicht. Das widerspricht dem Marxismus. Die Quelle allen Reichtums ist nicht allein die Ausbeutung der neokolonial abhängigen Länder. Ja, sie werden ausgebeutet. Und deshalb ist unsere Lösung auch, Proletarier aller Länder und Unterdrückte, vereinigt euch. So, it, if I understood the speaker correctly, he said that the, uh, the, the life in the Western imperialist countries is built on the oppression of the neo-colonial countries or states, solely. And this is not true, because as Mark said, the uh, source of... of uh, All wealth. Of wealth is... Uh, yeah, is work. That's why the, so it's incorrect to say it's only because of the oppression, and that's why the slogan is proletarians and, uh, 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 
oppressed, oppressed of all countries unite. So. <laughs> Das führt zu der Frage, welche Rolle heute die Arbeiterklasse und das Industrieproletariat gemeinsam mit allen Ausgebeuteten und Unterdrückten spielt. Auch im Iran gibt es Hunderttausende von Industriearbeitern und sie haben sehr wichtige Kämpfe geleistet, besonders in der Ölindustrie. Auch in Deutsch, doch Deutschland ist ein großes Industrieland und wir haben eine starke Arbeiterschaft hier. 70 Prozent der Bevölkerung, also die entsprechend erwachsen sind, sind im engeren oder weiteren Sinne Arbeiter. Aber welche Rolle spielen die in der neuen, dieses, wie Bob Ewinken es nennt, New Synthesis? In den USA, ich kenne die USA sehr gut. Meine Frau ist dort aufgewachsen und hat dort gelebt. Ich weiß aber auch, dass die RCP, sie hat richtige Standpunkte in vielen internationalen Fragen. Aber sie spielt keine Rolle im Industrieproletariat. Das ist eine Tatsache. Und es wird auch theoretisch begründet, warum in der Praxis sie keine Rolle im Industrieproletariat spielen. Sie sagen nämlich, das revolutionäre Subjekt ist heute anders. Es ist nicht das Proletariat, das Industrieproletariat, sondern es sind die am meisten Unterdrückten. Mit denen muss das Proletariat zusammenkämpfen. Aber das, die Rolle des Proletariats ist nicht eine Frage der Vergangenheit. Okay, so the point that Dieter is making is to say that the countries still have strong working classes. Germany has a strong working class, Iran has a large working class. And the problem is with the new synthesis by Bob Avakia that the proletariat um, doesn't get that much attention, he knows it because his wife lives in the United States and he has seen the RCP and they neglect the proletarian class struggle and the organizing of the proletariat because the RCP focuses, or the Avakians, focus too much on the oppressed groups. And uh, the point would be to combine the proletariat with the oppressed groups, but the RCP doesn't do any industrial work as organizing, and this is his critique. Ja. Ein letzter Satz. Nee, bitte, wir haben nicht so viel Zeit. Five hour to answer. Ja, wir haben nicht so viel Zeit. Ich bin hier, 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 ich bin Wait a moment, please. One sentence. Please, we don't have I will come to your speech tonight, of course, and I, I will hear your speech and your opinion about the war and the, your uh, solution. Okay? And uh, please, uh, right now, uh, ask me just. Uh, One question. A specific question that I can answer uh, to continue. continue. Okay. So another job Okay. Uh, and I want to uh, speak about some uh, point of your uh, questions. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, the last question. Why we don't uh, organize the labor or the workers? Uh, I was speaking. Okay. Yeah. Back at Parsinia. 
ببینید مسئله چیه؟ مسئله اینه که ما میخوایم انقلاب کنیم و سوال اینه که انقلاب چیست؟ آیا انقلاب کردن؟ انقلاب چیست؟ این سوال اساسی و من توی نکاتی که گفتم گفتم یکی از پیشرفت هایی و یکی از جهش هایی که آباکیان در علم کمونیسم انجام داد اینه که مسئله جسیت بخشیدن پروتاریا رو تغییر داد و این یعنی چی؟ okay. Uh, I want to start responding your last question uh, about the industrial worker and organizing the labor, etc. When I said that, you know, uh, you know, we talked about what, what when we talked about what is revolution uh, and uh, what kind of breaks uh, he has made, we talked about one concept, which was the reification of the proletariat. What does reification mean? Okay. وقتی که در چارچوب انقلاب کمونیستی از پرولتاریا صحبت می‌کنیم منظورمون تمام کارگرهایی که به هر شکلی مشغول انجام کار و در واقع در حال استثمار شدن هستند نیست پرولتاریا بودن یک نقش تاریخی و جهانیه که این طبقه به واسطه موقعیتی که در سیستم سرمایه داری داره When we are talking about the proletariat, we are not talking about that this group of industrial workers or that group of uh, some other kind of worker. We are talking about a worldwide class of uh, exploited uh, people, uh, which because of their the the uh, position that they have. Within this system, they uh, have the uh, they represent the emancipation of the whole humanity from this uh, capitalist imperialist system, and it is not reducible to this section of the working class or that section of the working class as or individuals, uh, etc. قاعدتاً پروتکاری یا نقش اساسی در انقلاب خواهند داشت ولی میخوام یکم بحث برانگیز بگم مثلا اینه که انقلاب کمونیستی و انقلاب سوسیالیستی نه فقط برای پروتکاری است و نه فقط توسط پروتکاری It is clear that uh, the proletarians are going to be uh, part of the backbone of these communist revolutions But we have to be very clear that communist revolution and socialist revolution is not by the proletariat and for the proletariat. Yes. It's for the humanity. تمام کسانی که از این سیستم آسیب دیدن منظور ما این نیست که خب ما فقط میخوایم یک 
سالات باری درست کنیم از آدم های مختلفی که تنوع داشته باشیم در انقلاب مسئله نیست که همه باید شرکت کرده باشند در این انقلاب برای اینکه وضعیت همه کسایی که تحت ستم و استثمار هستند هستن حاصل این شرایطه به جز انقلاب کردن هیچ کدومشون را حل دیگه ای برای از این بردنش نخواهند داشت and any group and any uh, strata which have been one way or other have been uh, enslaved uh, by the system uh, and the relations of the system, I, I don't mean that we have to, uh, we want to create a salad bar, you know, a colorful salad bar, you know, in order to say that, you know, we are a tent for everybody, etc., etc. No, the point is that, you know, uh, this system and its workings uh, it is uh, uh, oppressing and exploiting, you know, people in different varieties of ways, and none of them can be emancipated without destroying the system and bringing a radical change. So all of them have interest in in making this proletarian revolution. <laughs> تلاش برای انقلاب در آلمان شد خب ببینید این 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 اهمیت داره زمانی که انقلاب سوسیالیستی در روسیه شد یعنی این امیدوار بود که انقلاب بعدی در آلمان باشه و این اتفاق نیفتاد و این سوال خیلی بزرگی که باید از خودمون بپرسیم چرا یک انقلاب سوسیالیستی در روسیه اتفاق افتاد ولی در آلمان نه بخش اول حرف گفتم دو تا سوالش رو با هم جواب میدم وقتی که دنین انقلاب کرد امید وجود داشت که انقلاب بعدی در آلمان باشه ولی بعد از خود بپرسیم چرا چرا نشد uh, I want to respond to two questions at the same time uh, about revolution in Germany. Uh, the thing is that, you know, when uh, Lenin led the revolution in, in Russia, he intensely hoped that a revolution is gonna, the next one is gonna be in, in Germany, and he has to ask why this revolution didn't uh, happen. Okay. But this is the question that we to the and uh, this is a very important uh, uh, era and period or event that has to be summed up and it exactly uh, is the question that connects us to today. And uh, uh, Lenin uh, could uh, lead a revolution, a successful revolution, not because he had a mass party, not because he was the, you know, the biggest, strongest party within the international communist movement. You know that he was not. You know, you know that he, it was a very small party. He could lead this revolution exactly he had, he had this revolutionary theory, and he had prepared for it on, on that basis, even though it was a very small party. Yes. And when we connect the revolution in Iran to Germany to the whole world, you know, it is very important to understand that on what basis we make this connection. You know, it's not just illusion, it has a basis. And also, we have to understand that, you know, on what basis we have to carry out the revolution in each country. And if we are not clear about it, you cannot... I don't know. Okay. 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 Okay.
فشار میاره به نیروی انقلابی و واقعیتی که باید توی دنیا تغییر بکنه و این کمونیست نبودن به خاطر درک نکردن اهمیت این انقلابه به خاطر نداشتن این تئوریه و تمام کاری که ما در این جلسه و در تمام فعالیت های انقلابی مون کنیم اینه که اهمیت این رو جلو بذاریم برای بقیه و ازشون بخوایم که همراه بشن و کمک کنن برای از بین بردن این شرایط در هر کی I want to uh, make uh, myself very clear and, uh, you know, uh, provocative uh, and say that, unfortunately, uh, most of the people who call themselves communists in this world, most of the time they are not communists. And this, I am not saying this happy. I am saying it because it makes you, you know, it's a big burden. Uh, on humanity, and it is not a good situation. And uh, we have to be frank about it, because the whole humanities and the whole Earth's destiny is uh, dependent of, on this. And I say it in order to get together and, and think this through, you know, and say that, look, you know, I mean, it is very important to understand what is the problem, and what is the solution, really, and how we are going to go about it. I think we have time for one more question. Uh, sorry, we're already half an hour. Uh, right now. Yeah, one more question. Uh, yes. Yeah, a couple of points and then a kind of a main question. Uh, first of all, um, I agree that the people of Bangladesh, the people of India, the people of many other uh, parts of the world um, really need there to be a revolution in the first world. I agree. Uh, I'm not sure that that's a reason why people in the first world would make a revolution. But I just want to mark that this is a, a reversal. It sounds like kind of the old anti-imperialism. But the old anti-imperialism thought that the impetus for revolution would arise from the colonized world, from the third world, right? Baba Bakian thought this in 1969, right? He thought the Vietnamese were in the vanguard of world revolution. He can't believe that now, right? And these um, delusions, of the American left, the first world left, led to real problems with the Iranian revolution, right? The solidarity that the first world could have shown the Iranian revolution. Can I translate? Hmm? Can I translate for her? Sure. مردم دنیا نیاز دارن که تو جهان اول انقلاب بشه ولی اینکه حالا چرا نیاز مردم دنیا باید انگیزه باشه واسه این مردم اینجا که انقلاب کنن رو نمیفهمم خب و به نظرم میاد نظریه ای که بابا باکیان و شما دارید میدین یه واژگونه کردن نسخه وارونه آنتی امپریالیزم قدیمی هستش خب نظریه قدیمی آنتی امپریالیستی چی بود؟ مثلا با باباکیان دهه شست بزار نوزه شست نوم فکر کرد که بیتنام پیشاهنگ استلاز دم امپریالیستی و انقلاب های زد امپریالیستی از کلونی ها بلند خواهد شد الان مطمئنا داری فکر نمی کنیم و این نوع فکر کردن زد امپریالیستی که وجود داشت برای انقلاب ایران هم مشکل به وجود داشت So in, in the Iranian revolution, the first world revolutionaries said, see how wonderful they're making a revolution against the West, right? And they didn't presume to criticize their comrades in Iran. Not only did they fail to express solidarity through critique, but after the revolution, 
It's scarcely discussed in the Western leftist press, the catastrophe of the Iranian Revolution. And I invite you to look into the press of Maoists, even of Trotskyists, from the 1980s, how little the Iranian Revolution is discussed. میگه که و به اصطلاح خدمت زیاد با این کارشون که گفتن که آها توی ایران داره چیه یه انقلاب ضد امپریالیستی میشه و غیره اینا خدمت نکردن به رفقاشون و حتی به رفقاشون توی اونجا از طریق نقد کردن بهشون خدمت نکردن شما اگر نگاه کنین به مطبوعات چپ در غرب خیلی خیلی به ندرت حالا هر مطبوعاتی حتی چوسکیستگاه نمیدونم بقیه و غیر اینا خیلی به ندرت دارن بحث میکنن در مورد اون فاجعه ای که تو ایران رخ داد so, I mean, the Western left couldn't understand how the stooge of Washington could be overthrown and it result in a worse regime. Right? This was utterly incomprehensible. So, uh, so that's just one point about the, the the problems in the legacy of Avakian. Um, the more fundamental question is how one thinks about revolution, right? When I read Bob Avakian, he seems to think that revolution is an event that is going to be created by the degradations of capitalism. And what he needs to produce is a kind of officer corps. A what? Officer corps. Like a corps of officers, of military officers, to lead a revolution whose troops will be supplied by the degradation of conditions in society. Right? Unlike, the, in, and this is where he has to falsify Lenin. Right? Lenin is not the leader of a small party in Russia. He is a leader in a world movement for socialism that also exists in Germany, in France, in England, in the United States. He is not making a revolution in Russia to provoke a revolution in Germany alone. The split within the SPD in Germany is convincing him of the necessity of the revolution in Russia. Just as the Easter uprising in Ireland is convincing him of the necessity of the revolution in Russia. So it's a, it, yeah. مسئله این هستش که بابا واکیان داره اینطوری نگاه میکنه که تو یه آفیسر کور خب باید درست کنی یعنی یه کار یه بدنه یه کار که اسمشو گذاشت مثل آفیسر کور خب که باید درست کنی این وقت ترکیب میشه با گرایش به صلاح قهقرای سرمایه داری خب که اون وقت چیکار میکنه امکان پذیر میکنه که این انقلاب کنه یا هر چی و گفتش که برای این اون وقت بیاستی لنین رو نیگیت کنه خب لنین حزب کوچیک بولشویکی نبود لنین رهبر انقلاب سوسیالیستی بود که داشت در کشورهای مختلف انجام میشد در فرانسه آلمان فلان مهمار اینا خب and then uh, I uh, have to spit it from right. the... Right, so the point is, is that it's, it's, the decade, uh, it's a decades-long development of socialism in the core of capitalism that is generating a revolutionary situation, right? It's not a... Yeah, yes, it's the war, uh, but it's also the war as a negation of the possibility of socialism that had been built over decades 
میگه که پس بنابراین اون چیزی که اوضاع انقلابی رو ایجاد میکرد خب فقط جنگ نبود مسئله این هست که خود I'm saying it's the product of social. Right? That the revolution is a product of the organization of the movement for socialism over decades. It's not. I mean, I'll just put it this way: the revolution that capitalism is going to produce is going to be another, more or less democratic capitalism. Right. میگه انقلابی که سرمایه داری تولید خواهد کرد یک کاپیتالیسم کمابیش دموکراتیک تر خواهد It's a question of how you understand of what is a revolutionary situation and where does it come from. میگه که چجوری میفهمی که اوزای انقلابی چیه و این اوزای انقلابی از کجا میاد در مورد اینکه توی ایران چه اتفاقی افتاد و کلیت برداشت من از صحبتش این بود که بودی متوجه نشد چه اتفاقی افتاد و این رو داره مرمانی یک نقد به کمونیست ها میگه در 1979 مسئله اینه که بله در 1979 در ایران اتفاق جدیدی رو افتاد و اون چی؟ و خیلی ها هم متوجه نشدن چه اتفاقی افتاد ولی مسئله اینه که بعد بعدش یه سری ها فهمیدن و یه سری ها نفهمیدن حالا اون مسئله چی بود؟ مسئله اینه که مردم ایران و کمونیست های ایران علیه یک دولت سرمایی داری جدیدن و میخواستن انقلاب کمونیستی کنن اما یک انقلاب سرمایه دار دیمدار سر کار بود چرا؟ Uh, as, much as, as much as I understood was that you said that uh, something happened in Iran in 1979, nobody understood what happened, okay? And you are raising it as a criticism. Yes, something new happened, okay? Uh, a, a people wanted a change. People wanted a communist, wanted communist revolution, etc. But instead, uh, of a previously, you know, uh, capitalist uh, regime, another uh, capitalist regime, which was a theocratic capitalist regime, came into power, seized power. And this itself was a product of the workings of the capitalist system. How? دینامیک‌های خود سرمایه‌داری این توان و این امکان رو داره که از دل خودش آلترناتیو‌های ارتجایی بیاد. The dynamics of capitalism has can produce alternatives, reactionary alternatives from its uh, its uh, inside. و یکی از مهمترین آلترناتیو‌های ارتجایی بنیادگرایی اسلامی که در خاورمیانه و شمال آفریقا and one of these internal alternatives that it produced as a result of its workings was this uh, fundament Islamic fundamentalist you know, uh, uh, trend in Middle East and North Africa, which had disastrous impact on, on everything. <laughs> اتفاقا آگاکیان کسی بود که اومد این رو تحت عنوان دو منسوخ فرموله کرد، فروزه کرد و نشون داد که چطوری اسلامگرایی و سرمایه داری در عین اینکه با هم دیگه تفاوت دارن، اختلاف دارن و حتی جنگ دارن از دل یک سیستم به وجود میاد و در این حال دو پاشون این سیستم رو تقویت uh, uh, conceptualized, you know, what had happened in terms of two out modes, you know, that how, you know, even though this strata of Islamic fundamentalists within the oppressed countries, they are opposing the imperialist strata in, in the, in the, what you call the first world, okay, but in this contradiction is a reactionary contradiction that uh, they, why they are fighting, but they are sharing, you know, the same system, and they are within the same system, and why they are fighting, but they actually, they strengthen each other. And if you side with one of them, you are going to end up to strengthen 
دوتا نتیجه این دعوایی ارتجایی رو ما امروز توی شریف مردم قضی میبینیم در یک طرف امپریالیزم آمریکا با حمایت تمام همه جانبه ای که از اسرائیل میکنه و در طرف دیگه محور مقاومت به رهبری جمهوری اسلامی ایران و این وسط منافع مردم فلسطین و تمام مردم خواهر میانه و جهانی که داره نابود میشه you know, U.S. imperialism and an Israeli state, you know, uh, and on the other hand, you know, there is this, what is called axis of resistance, which is uh, the Islamic fundamentalist and with the uh, alliance and leadership of Islamic Republic, etc. And what is being uh, crumbled, uh, scrambled or, uh, how do you say, uh, crushed uh, is, the, is uh, the needs and the, the uh, the, the Palestinian people and, and their ideas and their ideals and their longing for emancipation. And مسئولیت رو کنن نسبت به اتفاقی که برای مردم غزه میفته متاسفانه سمت حماس رو ممکنه بگیرن و این دوباره در حقیقت تقویت هم unfortunately you know uh, uh, sometimes a lot of good people they get divided wrongly in one of these two sides uh, without knowing that what is the real way forward, you know, for, for the people of Palestine and even some people who want to defend the Palestinian people and their, you know, uh, need for emancipation, and they side with Hamas, you know, and they, they and again, this is going to end up to strengthen both sides. و خلاصه کنم این که بله در ایران اتفاق جدیدی افتاد و اتفاقا آواکیان در کمونیسم نوین ازش جهبت می کرد و اتفاقا یکی از مردم کسایی است که توی دنیا داره علیه داره در موردش جهبتی درست میکنه خیلی از ایدوهایی که خودشون رو چپ و کمونیست میتونن هنوز به واسطه انتراپریالیست بودن به شکلی طرف جمهوری اسلامی رو حاضر هم بگیرن And yes, a lot of people who consider themselves anti-imperialists, you know, they more or less, even in here, you can see that they side uh, with Islamic Republic. But uh, Baba Bacon uh, is, uh, you know, has put forward this very clear analysis and that through many decades we have seen that how it has proved to be correct that, you know, these two reactionaries, when they fight with each other, they, and, and if you fight with one of them, you are going to end up strengthening both of them. And, and the only way out is that you open the, uh, another way. لنین صحبت میکنه در مورد اوضاع انقلابی و آواکیان اتفاقا میاد در مورد این صحبت میکنن و چیزهایی بهش اضافه میکنه لنین وقتی در مورد شرایط انقلابی صحبت میکنه یا به طور کلی وقتی که داریم در مورد اوضاع انقلابی از دید ارو کمونیست صحبت میکنه سه تا شرط اساسی باید داشته باشه یکی اینکه یک بحران اساسی داخل سیستم وجود داشته باشه که طبقه حاکمه دیگه نتونه بشه که که قبلا میتونست اوضاع رو کنترل کنه Okay, about the revolutionary situation. Okay, uh, Lenin talked about revolutionary situation. Paul Avakian also has elaborated on that, you know, and he puts forward three conditions. And we should know that revolutionary situation is important because it provides the possibility of going for revolution in a successful way. And he says that, you know, uh, that uh, the, the ruling class should fall into such a a deep crisis, unprecedented crisis, which makes it, you know, uh, the, the workings uh, of the system itself makes it uh, weak enough, okay? And then? Shart the second one is that the people who are in the middle of the world are not in the middle of the world. The people who are in the middle of the world, the people who are in the middle of the world, the people who are in the middle of the world, and the people who are in the middle of the world, they can't be able to do it. They can't be able to do it. And also, you know, the, the masses of the people no longer, you know, would be, uh, would be uh, enslaved, you know, by thinking of the system. 
and they would uh, not uh, um, agree or uh, want to be uh, led by the system and become a subordinate uh, of the system, and they no, no longer would accept that. They would have liked before. و در این حال حاضر باشتن مبارزه کنن و بجنگن برای تغییر این شرایط به شکل انقلاب و شرط سوا یک حزب کمونیست یا یک نیروی پیشرهنگ کمونیستی در جامعه وجود داشته باشه که بتونه رهبری مبارزه و ساختن این جنبش برای انقلاب رو در دست بگیره و پیش بده And the third one, which is very important, is that there has to be a vanguard revolutionary communist party that uh, would be able and have the objective and the, the preparedness in order to lead, you know, these masses of the people for a revolution and execute And this final point is very important that when we talk about you know a revolution situation, a lot of people think that revolution situation in and of itself spontaneously is going to create a revolution. No, there is a very important and decisive role for a vanguard party to lead it with its own strategy and program. و تفاوت های میگم دیدگاه ما تفاوتی در مورد این نقش وجود داره یکیش اینه که حزب رو به جای مردم میذاره و قرار حزب به تنهایی انقلاب و اشتباه دیگه اینه که حزب رو حذف میکنه و میخواد مردم برن در و در پای اشتباه دیگه این وجود داره کلام واقعا وقتیست بهشون بپردازه ولی تو فیلم This is a very important discussion that we cannot end it up here, you know, because we don't have time ولی نکته اینه که برای انقلاب کرد از انقلاب کردن چیه؟ یک بار دیگه انقلاب کردن سرنگون کردن دستگاه دولتی موجود با تمام نیروها و نهادهاش و جایگزین کردنش با دستگاه دولتی نیروها و نهادهای بنیادن متقابل از طریق قهر انقلاب And once again, you know what is revolution? Revolution is that overthrow through revolution, revolution The, the whole system and its institutions and, with, uh, and, and bring forth another uh, power with different institu institutions, with different workings in order to wipe out all of the uh, base uh, which uh, has created that. Yeah, yeah, sir, we need the room. We need, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then my last point is that in order to make this revolution, we really need, need the science of neo communism. And I am saying that not because you know uh, we are good people, you are good people, etc., etc. We are all good people. No, you know this is a tremendous effort which needs a tremendous science, and that's why I invite you to engage neo communism. And thank you so much. I have only one one sentence. That's it. So uh, you're asking what why people here should uh, care about that. The reason that we are not living in a separate island in the world, everything is connected like a web. The people should care about it because they are human, you are human. The suffering of people there is our suffering. That is why the people here should care about it. Thank you so much.